He's awesome. That's the little buster. around the corner here in the kitchen, and then right around 4 o'clock, we'll have everybody speak, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right, because I tried it last week, and they did all... So many of you will be going tonight. Yeah. I can not have... Most of you are seeing a rabbit, so we're getting out around. I come to Moy. It's a two hour drive. It's a two hour drive. I think we drove up to Missouri. Yeah. Yes, but during the week, we made it work, and we made it work. Syria, well, there. Yeah. and um, you know, 
I don't have evidence of that, but there there was a story that a week beforehand, a, a ship from Libya, a Turkish ship, docked in Turkey, and they interviewed the captain. There were weapons on board that went to Syria. Mm -hmm. We ostensibly said we weren't arming the rebels at that point in time. Then there have been other stories, Hillary saying that she uh, was in favor of arming the rebels in private discussions in the White House. That she was apparently the one wanting to get involved. Sure. And then that kind of leads into the whole Mexico gun running thing, too. How come that's kind of mute right now? Well, your senator's done a good job on that. For the most part, he's yeah. pushing it. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, that, his, that was in his committee, right? That he pushed it forward. But we don't really control hearings in the Senate either. We're sort of at a loss because in the House, because Republicans control the House, they can do hearings. That's why the Benghazi hearings are happening in the House and not the Senate. You know, they're mm -hmm. unlikely to ever let us have any hearings. The, the, whoever the majority is, that chairman, uh, they make absolute decisions on what happens in the committee. So if it comes out that they were gun running down in Mexico, and you guys. The House hearings get to, get to the bottom of them. Impeachment starts in the House. Are we able to? Um, I don't know what's going to come out. Uh, you mean out of the Fast and Furious thing, or out of uh, out of the Fast and Furious thing with Lyman Rowe and everything yeah. else that's been going on? Well, you know, I think uh, you know some tragic things happen, and I can't imagine why we would be selling guns. You know, functioning guns to drug lords down there, and they did, and they didn't. They didn't pay attention to it. People did die. The one Asian died, but probably other people died too because of mm -hmm. these guns. Where, you know, with coming up the UN and everything else, are you in favor of minimizing the UN? I know getting rid of the UN is kind of a right. drastic statement, but... You know, I think that uh, I'm not in favor of fighting war under UN banners. If we have to go to war, it should be the yeah. American flag. I'm not in favor of UN small arms treaties, UN law of the sea treaty, UN treaty on disability. I'm really not in favor of most of the UN treaties. And uh, I'm not in favor of us you know, paying 25, 30 percent of the UN budget. Um, mm. The only thing I would say is some kind of body where we have discussion, you know, where we talk about things to try to work out our differences is not a bad idea. The UN's just gone crazy into a lot of other things. And then because you have so many people who don't like us in it, you end up having, like for years, Gaddafi was head of the Human Rights Organization for the <laughs> UN. It's like, here's this joke. This <laughs> despot is now, you know, they vote and condemn America in Israel for a lot of things within the UN, so um, I'm not in favor of any of that. Okay. Don't mean to hog all the questions. One of my other things with leading off to the UN is the IMF. Right. What's the purpose of being in that? I'm not in favor of the IMF either, or the World Bank, and some Republicans are. They just see it as good for business, but I see it as a way of, one, we don't have any money, and we're having to just print it up to give it to them, and so it just creates worldwide inflation doing it. But uh, the government shouldn't be involved. In well, don't we have about thirty percent or more stake in that? Yeah, we do. We're in all of these international organizations. We need. We seem to have a disproportionate. Now, they would argue, oh well, we get to tell them what to do because we have a disproportionate stake in it. But it's just one more, uh, you know, rat hole to throw money down. As far as I'm concerned, a lot of it's counterproductive because you end up loaning it to uh, often people who are not necessarily the the good people. We loan it to people who are running these countries, but often they're stealing portion of what they get. Hate to be a party pooper, but actually we'd like to start a little party. Um, if you guys want to mix and make, continue to mix and mingle and visit, but move towards the kitchen, we've got some, some uh, refreshments and drinks. My name is Dan G. Just make, let's make our way that way and we'll keep, keep working it.